Hi, Kipsters. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. Yesterday at Read Aloud, we read Not Norman, A Goldfish Story. And you guys did such a great job with the lesson of the story and really thinking about what lesson you learned that was true for your own life and could apply to anybody. So great job with that. I have some shout outs. I want to start by giving Skylar H. a shout out in BGSU. Skylar sent me a video of her reading her response out loud and she used so much great detail and then gave an example about another time that her lesson could be applied in life. Layla in Kenyon also did an amazing job explaining her lesson, and she also showed great integrity by telling me about a time where she maybe didn't follow the lesson in the book and what lesson she learned as a result. And last, a big shout out to Jeremiah in West Florida. Jeremiah also used a ton of details from the story in his explanation of his lesson. So really, really great job, Jeremiah. Let's go ahead and give a shout out to our three Kipsers today. We're going to do a McDonald's cheer on three. One, two, three. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. So I told some of you when we were messaging yesterday with your responses that there was going to be a special guest who says hi at our read aloud today. This is Simba, my dog. He's a Bernese Mountain dog. He is almost three years old. His birthday is in April. And a lot of you saw that he popped into our video yesterday wanting to say hi. And so many of you were asking great questions about Simba and asking if you could meet him. So I brought him for our read aloud today um, so that he could join us. And Simba is a really great friend. So he helped me pick out a special book today that is about a dog as well. So the name of this book is Rescue and Jessica, A Life-Changing Friendship. The story is written by Jessica Kensky and Patrick Downs and it's illustrated by Scott Mangoon. And it's a true story all about Jessica's life. Your thinking job as we read today is to think about Jessica's character traits. We know character traits describe how a character is on the inside, like patient or kind. And your thinking job is to think about Jessica's character traits and be ready to give me two at the end of the story. On a special farm in the countryside, a pup named Rescue was in training. He was learning to help people who could not see, but he was worried. His trainer had just said, you aren't meant to be a seeing eye dog. That was hard for Rescue to hear. Helping people who can't see was the family business. The service dog team is better for you, his trainer said. Service dogs work besides their partners instead of in front of them. Will I be a good service dog? Rescue wondered. What will my new partner be like? Will she like me? Rescue didn't want to let anyone down. In a hospital in the city, a girl named Jessica was worried. Both of her legs were badly hurt. Everyone hoped her right leg would heal, but the doctors had to remove part of her left leg so she could be healthy again. You're an amputee now, Jessica, the doctor explained. You have to wear a prosthetic leg or use a wheelchair for the rest of your life. That was hard to hear. She had only ever walked on her own two legs. How will I do things on my own? Jessica wondered. When will I be able to walk again? What will my life be like? Her whole family was worried about her, and she didn't want to let anyone down. Back in the country, Rescue was learning how to be a service dog. When he wore his blue cape, that meant he was in training. He had to stay by his partner's side. He fetched all kinds of things. He even learned how to open doors. Rescue, you're a natural, said his trainer. At the hospital, Jessica was learning new ways to do things that used to come easily. She used a wheelchair to get around. She practiced getting out of bed differently. She put on a prosthetic leg so she could stand. She was learning how to walk again, even though her right leg was still hurt. Jessica, you are becoming strong, said her doctors.
Rescue was proud of all he had accomplished, but he was still worried. He was named in honor of a brave firefighter. He had big shoes to fill. Rescue wanted to help people, just like his namesake. Jessica knew she had made a lot of progress, but she was frustrated and sad about the things she still couldn't do. She wondered if she would ever be happy again. She felt like the changes were too big and too much. One day, a visitor came to see Jessica, and she brought her service dog, Curry. Jessica saw how smart a dog like Curry could help her. That very day, she started filling out the application to ask for a dog of her own. After a while, Jessica got some very exciting news. Rescue got exciting news, too. He also got a new red cape. Finally, the big day arrived. It's nice to meet you, res Rescue, said Jessica. She looks so nice and so pretty, Rescue thought. Rescue stood up very tall. He hoped she didn't notice his legs were trembling, but his wagging tail gave him away. Jessica smiled a big smile and laughed a big laugh for the first time in a long time. Jessica and Rescue stayed in the country for a few weeks, and Rescue showed her all the things he could do. You're amazing, Jessica told Rescue. You think I'm amazing, Rescue thought? I think you're amazing. Back in the city, Rescue and Jessica got used to working together. Rescue brought her things she needed. He opened things that were hard for her to reach. Rescue barked if Jessica needed someone. If she tripped, he would hold steady so she could get back up. Rescue and Jessica were always together, but when she didn't need his help, Rescue really liked to sleep. Jessica knew that even though Rescue was special, he was a regular dog too. She made sure that Rescue had playtime every day. But Jessica still wasn't completely healthy. One day, her doctor told her that her right leg would have to be removed too. She wouldn't need she would need to wear two prosthetic legs. This didn't get any easier for Jessica to hear. The night after the doctor removed her leg, Rescue knew just what to do to help Jessica all on his own. Rescue and Jessica had to start all over again. Slowly but surely, they learned how to do all the things they needed to do, together. They did chores together, played together, and snuggled together. For the first time in a long time, Jessica felt happy, and that made Rescue happy, too. You changed my life, Rescue, she said. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm so proud of us, he thought. You rescued me, Rescue, said Jessica. But the truth was, they had rescued each other. The end. So in the back, there's a special picture of the real... Jessica and Rescue. So you can see this is who the story was written about, and it was a true story that she wrote about her own life and her relationship with her dog. So in your response today, I'm excited to hear how you would describe Jessica. What character traits describe what kind of person Jessica is? And remember to explain using key details from the text. Thank you guys for joining us for our read aloud today. Simba, can you do high five? He's very impressed with what a great job you guys did. And we can't wait to see your responses. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.